Hello everyone, my name is Wendy Lehman. I'm a fashion stylist and personal shopper. And if this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Thank you for coming. Please press the subscribe button and please look for me on Facebook, check out my website, etc. Um, for those of you that have been following, you'll know that this is another in my series of uh, fashion in the time of Corona. Uh, in earlier videos, I've explained why I think this is important at this stage and why I'm doing this. So please, um, if you want to remind yourself of why that is, do look back at one of the earlier videos. I'm working through my wardrobe. I've done all the shoes um, and I'm now into outerwear and I'm going to start with capes. I'm a big fan of capes. I think they transcend practically every body shape and, um, and every style personality. So I think you can find capes that work for you, whatever your style personality, whatever your body geometry. Um, and I also think they are timeless. They're a real investment piece. They're, they don't come and go with the fashions. It might be important to change how you wear them, depending on what's, um, what's in fashion at the moment, but there will always be a place for uh, capes in your wardrobe. And so I think you, if you, if like me, you really like them, then absolutely you should be looking for ones that, um, that work for you and that float your boat. So for me, because I'm quite, um, because I'm quite straight, my body geometry is quite straight. I don't have a defined waist. Um, I tend to go for, for capes that are quite structured, uh, both in terms of the shape of them and in terms of the fabric. If you are somebody with a softer body shape, so if you've, if you've got uh, rounded shoulders, if you've got a very defined waist, if you've got a lot of um, softness in your neck, in your, body sh uh, in your face shape, you might want to go for uh, capes that are slightly more fluid. Just a word of caution there, um, that you don't want to end up looking like a superhero, you don't want to be walking around with something that's flapping around like Batman or Superman. So just to be conscious of that. But I go for ones that are in quite a rigid fabric in the main, and I'll show you those now. Um, so I'm going to start with my, I've got, I've got one real winter cape. Um, this is, oh, I'm conscious that these are, things are not so easy to show. Um, okay, so this is, this is knitted. I wear it, I wear it in the winter over, it can even be worn over a coat. Uh, certainly it's fine over a chunky jumper. It's, um, it's, you just put it on over your head and it's got armholes here, so your arms can come out. Um, just to be aware, capes like this, think about the handbag that you're going to be doing when you're doing a cape like this. It's almost impossible to do a bag over the shoulder and even crossbody bags aren't that easy unless you wear them under the cape, which is fine. Um, although it can look a little bit weird if you've got a big crossbody bag. So best of all is a bag that you just hold, not a clutch bag because you haven't got access to, to your underarms, just a bag that you would hold. Um, if you've followed my handbag audit, you'll know that those are not the sort of bags that I do. So when I do this cape, I tend to wear a body bag, body bag, <laughs> hopefully not. I tend to wear a crossbody bag um, under this, but I wear a very small one so that it's not bulky underneath. Um, so that's my first one. It's warm. It's, um, it's lovely in the winter. It's black, which is not my best colour. I'm, I'm, I don't outlaw black, but I am very keen to remind people that black is not everybody's best colour. And definitely as we get older, it can be quite harsh. So a good navy, a charcoal grey, a wonderful chocolate brown might be better for you. And that depends on your skin tone. But because there is so much black in the shops and because I know that a lot of people like to wear black because it's slimming, I'm not, I never outlaw it uh, for my clients, but I'm very conscious to, um, to explain to people that if you're going to do black, you need to know the power of it or the disadvantage of it for you personally and to think about that when you're buying. So for me, something like this in black with a, quite a high neck isn't my best but it has got quite a soft neck and I'll often do one of my much better colours, something like this, underneath, so that that's actually what's illuminating my face. So think about that if you've got something that's high neck and black and like me, um, black is not what you look best in anymore or maybe never did. Uh, okay, so that's number one. My second one is an absolute classic. This is, this is a very dark navy. Um, it's... It slips over, it's open at the front, so it's much more forgiving with handbags. Again, I tend to do this with a crossbody 
bag rather than anything that goes over the shoulders or anything on um, on my back but you can of course do it with just a, a bag that you're holding and you can even do this with a clutch bag although that's not so convenient it's a wonderful it's a wonderful cape for the evening this um, really it really smartens up any fairly ordinary look just because of its the fact that it's elegant the fact that it's a really good rigid fabric it's just got a fastening here which is quite understated um, and it's open and it's open all the way down the front so actually you, you it's not too solid a color so it doesn't look too hefty um, or too heavy on you so that's a really good one and I get a lot of wear out of that in the evenings um, then I've got two short capes um, Again, short capes are, let me show you both of those. Short capes are very good for me because of my proportions. I'm, I'm quite diminutive, so they don't tend to swamp me. Um, this is a wonderful colour on me, which is the main reason I bought it. And this one was actually a bit, the fabric's really quite itchy. So I took it to be altered. So don't, if you buy something and it's almost 100% but not quite 100%, think about what you can do. To, to really get maximum wear out of it. So for me, I was limiting myself with wearing this because the, co the collar here was a bit scratchy and so I was only wearing it with something high neck, which was a missed opportunity for me. So I took it into a, um, an alterations place and just got them to line the inside of the collar and now I can wear it with pretty much anything because it doesn't itch. So this is a fabulous colour, goes with all my autumnal coloured clothes and also goes, you know, goes with, with any sort of light coloured things. Less, less good with black, but I try not to do that much black, as, as I've mentioned. Um, so really good. And again, very easy. Again, crossbody bag works best with this. And it's got big slips here so that I can easily get my arm out. And this one, which I love, um, which was a really cheap and cheerful thing from H&M, I think, if memory serves me right. Yeah, no, Gap really cheap and cheerful thing from Gap about, I don't know, years ago, but I've kept it and I've had so much wear out of it. And I love that little zip, let me get rid of this one. I love that little zip detail. Um, so again, you can wear that done up. Just all, all open. And really lovely, great color, not, not incredibly warm, but perfect for the sort of spring autumn weather where you're wearing something and you'd kind of like a jumper or something over your shoulders just to make you feel a little bit cosier and then something like this works beautifully. And then I've got two more which are even shorter. This, which is, I, I just adore this. This is from Cos. Occasionally Cos do these wonderful things which are, um, I don't know, timeless, fabulous pieces. I consider this to be almost like a piece of jewelry. I think it's so lovely. And I wear this just over a white shirt um, or a long t-shirt or something like that and jeans and it just adds that little something to the outfit it doesn't it doesn't keep you particularly warm but it just it just dresses up an outfit in a way that without it you would feel slightly under underdressed unfinished whatever so it's really it's almost I consider this almost to be a piece of jewelry and then the last cape I've got is very classic and actually a little bit floppy for me if you remember at the beginning I said Think about your body geometry and your and, and your style personality when you're buying capes. This one is a little bit floppy. It's navy. It's quite a good... The colour is very good for me. It's a, it's a real sort of yellowy navy. So if you can see that against my skin, you'll see that's really quite good for me. Um, it's, uh, it's cashmere, so it feels lovely. And it's great in the evenings, but it is a little bit floppy. So it doesn't quite... Um, it doesn't quite press my perfect button as far as the cape is concerned. I'm much happier in something like this, which although it's also knitted, is just that little bit more structured. And that for me works better. But this is a great addition to the wardrobe and, and certainly something that I might take on holiday to throw over um, a sundress in the evening. If I find I'm going from day to evening, it screws up to nothing in the bottom of your bag. And then you can just take it out and it gives you that little bit of, of um, protection, that little bit of warmth uh, if you're sitting out of an evening in the summer and you just want something that isn't a jumper or a cardigan over your shoulders and then that is perfect. Um, so that's my cape collection. Um, I'm going to stick with outerwear so the next video will probably be on coats. Look forward to seeing you then.